So a newer version of VS Code was released today and I thought it's a good time to create a video demonstrating some of my best hacks and things I love about VS Code. Now there are a lot of things I love about VS Code but I'm gonna cover my top ones in this one which I regularly use as well as I think would be beneficial to you. Also if you are new here don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon it really helps you don't know. <laughs> For the demonstration purpose I'm gonna make use of create react app which quickly bootstraps a react project in our desktop slash react hooks directory and I've started the server as well, which is serving our React project at localhost port 3000. Number one, with this release of VS Code, we no longer need to reload our VS Code once installing a new extension. How that works, we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and write live server here, which is a pretty cool extension, allows you to see live changes. If I install it, that's installed. That's pretty much it. It's working right off the bat. So I could go ahead and make use of live server now. You could see this extension is live here. You do not really need to reload your VS Code. Number two is the new tree widget introduced in VS Code. So you could go ahead and if you want to list all the files starting with app, just go ahead in your finder and write app. You're gonna see this and click here. You're gonna get a list of all these apps, app related files, right? It's pretty cool if you have a project where you want to mess around with some style files having the same name style.css style.sass something like that this is where this is going to come handy to you number three is my favorite piece of thing in this release and that is screencast mode so vs code now introduces a screencast mode which is very awesome for people like me who regularly do screencast what i can do now is press command shift p and write screencast mode, right? So this would now enable you to see what I'm typing. So you see this command on your, on your screens. This is not me editing any video. This is actually shown by VS Code Live. So if I do command shift P, you see that you see that on the screen. This is done by VS Code, not by me, not any video editing. This brings us to number four hack, which is not really a hack, but a thing I really like. So you might not be knowing that VS Code is actually built on Electron framework, which is eventually running HTML, CSS, and JavaScript as a desktop application. So what you're seeing, this text editor, is actually a HTML, CSS, JavaScript based application. How? Well, you could actually get your familiar terminal right here by going to help and toggle developer tools. Now, mind you, this is not a regular console. This is the developer tools of the VS code itself. So you can go ahead inside elements and start messing around with your VS code. Maybe if your friend is using a VS code, you could delete some elements or place some text you have been hacked or something like that. You know, it really depends on you. So you could pretty much move around stuff, delete elements, do anything you want, right? But I'm gonna leave it right here. You could maybe print a message that your system is compromised. You could see I've been trying this on my own system, right? and you could do a bunch of stuff and again we know that this is electron because you you're gonna see this nice little message prompt is and will not be supported because there's some history of prompt not being implemented natively on electron framework i do have tutorials on electron if you're interested check the link in the description this brings us to number five which is using zen mode in vs code now i do use zen mode sometimes when i want to eliminate all the distractions and or i'm writing a useful piece of code or not really useful but important piece of code maybe an algorithm or a tricky code anything so you could go into that and actually i'm just gonna enable my screencast here so you can go into that by pressing command k and then z that's it you're into your zen mode now number six actually is attaching a live debugger not using vs code's debugger right so you can actually debug your code right into VS Code itself. Why go outside in Chrome debugger, right? When you can get a similar and even a better interface here. Let's see how. So I'm gonna place a debugger call here, right? And I'm gonna save this. Next, I'm gonna go to extensions and install an extension called Chrome debugger. So once you see it, go ahead and install it and don't worry, it won't reload, right? So once you have this installed, just go ahead and go to this tab, go ahead and add a configuration, say Chrome here and right here, go ahead and write 3000 and our web root is workspace folder, 
that is this folder and src right and that's pretty much it now just go ahead and first of all make sure your app is running right and then click on this it's gonna open a browser and attach your debugger right here you could see right so I'm gonna go ahead inside my app.js file and drag in my browser for you guys to just see in here there we go here's my browser and here's the code associated so you see that we have a debugger point inside our increase counter function which is fired when I click on this button increment counter so let's just go ahead and click on this so you see that we immediately arrive at our debugger point and in Chrome we get paused in Visual Studio code, which is pretty cool, right? So here you could pretty much see your variables, your stack trace, everything. You could also catch exceptions here. Pretty cool, right? You could also go forward, get into the code, step into the code, step out of the code, restart the code and obviously exit out of the debugger as well. Next one is pretty much like using a lot of cursors if you have ever used it so it's pretty cool i use it quite often for example let's say you have a lot of styles here and maybe you want to add a color of gray to every style so i'm gonna go ahead and hold let me just open the you know screencast mode again hold command here and click not really command the option here and click here 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 and here you see that i have four cursors right now at the moment blinking so now I can go ahead and write color, you know, anything I want, something like that. So it's pretty cool. It works out of the box and you could do a bunch of stuff here. And you could see I've made an error. So I can go ahead and do it something like this. Pretty cool. This brings us to eighth. That is moving lines up and down, which is also one of my favorite hacks. So if you have a bunch of lines or maybe a single line, you could pretty much move them by holding option on Mac and pressing arrow keys right so you see that I'm moving able to move these lines this particular line up and down on a similar basis you could pretty much do it with a block of code option and move it up or move it down right pretty awesome if you ask me number nine brings us to another hack which I usually use a lot of times that is formatting the document so if let's say if this document is not well formatted or maybe you know some places there are many tabs and some places there are you know just spaces something like that if you want to format this document just hold shift option and press f boom your document becomes formatted and it's clean like anything finally this brings me to number 10 but not the least that is last but not the least that is another extension which i use extensively with my git oriented projects that is git lens so you see right here, um, go to extensions, right? Git lens. It's a pretty cool extension if you have projects using Git or, you know, GitHub. I'm not going to get into the details of how Git lens work because that might take another complete video of itself. But in a glance, you can just go ahead and write Git, Git lens here and you could pretty much compare your file with um, its revisions in the same branch and other branches compare two branches at different times do a ton of stuff here so if you see if I compare my branches with um, my same branch that is my master branch I could pretty much see my comments what I have done changes that is pretty much one-on-one -on -one editing all that cool stuff right you could pretty much compare the files across branches as well I don't have branches in this dummy project but you know you get the idea so yeah, that's pretty much it for me on my top 10 list on VS Code hacks, tips, tricks, whatever you want to call it. And that's all for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe, press the bell icon and thank you for watching. I'll see you then in another video.